Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out the latest and last optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11 23H2, which is KB5067112. And once the update has been applied, if you do decide to install the update because it's optional, the OS build will be bumped up to 22621.6133. And the reason I say the last optional update is because if we head to the calendar on the 11th of November, the second Tuesday of next month, is the final update that Windows 11 23H2 will receive. So after that date, according to Microsoft, no more updates. So this is the last optional update as mentioned. Now this is a non-security update. So it includes bug fixes and quality improvements, says Microsoft. And we get four fixes that have rolled out and there is a change, which may or may not be a good thing. But nonetheless, starting with the fixes. The first fix is Microsoft says, this update addresses an issue where the touch keyboard does not enter characters into text fields after the device wakes from sleep. It's mentioned that although touch keyboard animations appear correctly, Key presses do not register, for example, when entering a password on the sign-in screen. And then we've got a networking fix where Microsoft says it fixed an issue where external virtual switches lose their physical network interface card, NRC bindings, and convert to internal switches when the host restarts, resulting in network connectivity loss. That's been patched. And then there is a storage fix where this update addresses an issue that affects disk communication and causes connectivity errors during Azure Stack Hub or Azure Local Cluster Upgrades. So not too much going on when it comes to tweaks and adjustments and front-facing features. And I think it's understandable. Windows 11 23H2 is almost at the end of the road. So I don't think Microsoft's going to be giving it too much attention in regards to new features. They are just stabilizing things before the end of service. And then, as mentioned, we get a change, which might be or not be for the good. Because the update enables the personalized offers feature during device setup in the out-of-box experience, OOBE, and in settings after the user reaches the desktop. So basically, what this is all about is I would consider it just to be ads for other Microsoft products and services in the OOBE, which as mentioned, may or may not be a good thing. So personalized offers, strange that Microsoft is pushing that out just before end of service, but nonetheless, that's more or less guys, what's new in the latest optional bug fix and last optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11 23H2, KB5067112. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.